फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू दिस सीरीज ऑफ एनर्जी ऑडिट और एनर्जी मैनेजमेंट सिस्टम इन दिस सीरीज वी आर गोइंग टू टॉक अबाउट व्हाट इज एनर्जी ऑडिट हाउ ऑडिट इज परफॉर्म व्हाट आर डायरेक्ट एंड इनडायरेक्ट बेनिफिट्स ऑफ एनर्जी ऑडिट एंड इट्स प्रोसीजर टू कंडक्ट द ऑडिट एंड फाइनली इट इज कंक्लूडेड विद सम केस स्टडीज रिलेटेड टू डिफरेंट इंडस्ट्रीज सो इफ यू लुक एट द कंटेंट ऑफ दिस देर इज अ डिस्कशन अबाउट वॉट इज एनर्जी ऑडिट when i say energy audit it also means energy inspection or energy management system it talks about direct as well as indirect benefits of energy audit then the course has detailed explanation about energy audit process as well as preparation before performing audit then different types of audit are discussed walk through audit has certain visible losses identification so that is also discussed Lastly, there is a discussion about ISO fifty thousand one, which is energy and environment audit, followed by case studies related to different industries, where audit reports are summarized at the last of the video series. So, if we look some details about the content of this series, it has it has an explanation about why energy audit is required or who requires energy audit. what are the requirement based on the power consumption as well as square feet area which requires audit that is discussed what is in general audit process that is discussed and who or which team can perform an energy audit that is discussed there is a explanation about global standards like usa that they adopt certified energy auditor by association of energy engineers so cea discussion is there then there is iso 50001 which is a global standard of energy audit that is discussed australian standard of energy efficiency council that is discussed so worldwide some common global examples of energy performance assessment which are existing nowadays they are will discuss then comes detailed discussion about the procedure of iso 50001 it is based on a procedure called as plan do check and act so that cycle is explained for iso 50001 how it is different from iso 14001 that is also explained in some slides detailed discussion is there for direct as well as indirect benefits of energy audit like direct benefits are production cost reduction or process cost reduction or when it is done for home audit then it is reduction in energy bill so that is discussed as well as what are indirect benefits to the nation to the owner to the building occupant so they are been discussed then the audit process is discussed in detail like it is made of data collection plan survey measurement using measuring instruments observing the process and analyzing the data so all these steps of energy inspection they are discussed definitions of energy audit differentiation between types of audit like detailed audit or a walk through audit that is there in detail like when there is a walk through audit it is just a going through the plant and identifying certain losses while there is a detailed audit there is a detail review of the audit uh, energy consumption process collecting bills measuring certain parameters so that total methodology is discussed so here are some observations are discussed that when such type of leakages are there what steps need to be called for detailed audit process is made of three major steps that is preparation execution and then data reporting so that individual steps they are discussed in 3 to 4 videos of this total video series so some steps and their content are shown over here flow chart is a very important part of performing energy inspection so how to how to make flow chart and how to understand them that is shown over here then graphical representation of energy use that also plays a vital role in understanding audit process so different types of graphs and their understanding is explained cost benefit analysis energy audit reports their detailed discussion are there in subsequent videos and then lastly there are case studies related to different industries like pumping 
automobile, chemical industry, paint industry, steel industry. So wherein some energy saving measures are taken up. So what those measures are, how they have helped the industry, what is the payback time, what is the environmental benefit of those measures, they are also being discussed. So this course will be helpful to all the energy consultant or energy aspirant, those who are appearing for the exam or those who are intending to perform energy audit of existing plant.